If you're trying to find remote jobs that not everyone in the world is already applying for, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the best kept secrets in remote work. Roles you probably haven't considered, you probably didn't even know existed, but could be a perfect fit. And stick around because missing out on these opportunities might mean staying stuck in a crowded, stressful job market. So today we're going to ditch the usual suspects, no virtual assistants or freelance writers or data entry jobs here. And we're gonna be diving into the weird wonderful world of remote work that nobody is talking about. And if you're new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button as well, and let's dive in right now. And by the way, right before we get started, once you've actually found the jobs that you wanna apply for, you're probably gonna need a really good resume template. And luckily for you, we have completely free resume templates that are professional grade, which you can check out down in the description and the pinned comment below. I want all of you to be able to land these jobs, so I provide this stuff completely free. So go ahead and check it out. First on the list is going to be wildlife documentary researcher. Yes, you heard that right. Imagine getting paid to binge watch nature docs and uncover mind-blowing animal facts. And your mission? To help create the next planet Earth. You'll be the brains behind those jaw-dropping scenes that make us go, whoa. But there's no need to wrestle crocs. This is a remote gig. For instance, Seth Dayud is a documentary researcher from the BBC, and he works to find interesting stories for the TV network's nature documentaries. So someone had to figure out all these interesting stories where there's some giant crocodile in a river or something like that, and that's what you would be doing in this situation. And you'd also be researching who you should talk to, who you can interview, et cetera, et cetera. And a documentary researcher makes about 41 to $71,000 a year. And they're the unsung heroes behind the scenes that make the documentary extra good. And your day might involve scouring scientific journals for the latest animal behavior studies, finding that perfect what the F nature moment in hours of raw footage, or planning shoots based on animal migration patterns. And qualifications? Well, most of them, if you're working in wildlife documentaries specifically, are going to have a biology or zoology background. However, you could work in other types of documentaries as well. And if you have a specific background in something that you could make a documentary about, that's going to give you an extra advantage. And also, so here's a secret. Passion can trump formal education. So if you ever watched a documentary and thought, I could do that, well, now's your chance to prove it. Just don't blame me if you start narrating your pet's behavior in a David Attenborough voice. Chompy assumes a human-like pose. Next is going to be for all of you dice rolling, character creating nerds out there, a professional dungeon master. Yes, you can actually make money running Dungeons and Dragons games online. Welcome to the future, folks. In fact, there are entire channels on YouTube about how to be a better dungeon master. Yes, this is really a thing. And professional dungeon masters typically make anywhere from $100 to $500 per session. And that means they could potentially earn $30,000 to $100,000 plus dollars per year for full-time work. And your day might involve crafting engaging storylines and unique game worlds, managing online platforms for virtual tabletop gaming, voice acting for various NPCs, and balancing game mechanics for player enjoyment. Now, what you need for this position is a deep knowledge of Dungeon and Dragon rules and lore, of course. You need to have strong storytelling and improvisation skills. You need to have have the ability to manage group dynamics, then you have to be tech savvy because you're running these games on a virtual platform. Now the perks, you get paid to play games and unleash your creativity. Plus, you never have to worry about finding a group for game night again. Plus, did I mention you get paid to play video games? But now, by the way, if you want to make a weird niche YouTube channel like how to be a D&D &D dungeon master, because a lot of these weird niche channels actually make a lot of money, I actually have a completely free training on how to do that on YouTube. So it's called the Idea Factory, how to never run out of viral video ideas ever again. Again, completely free. You can check it out down in the description and the pinned comment below, and it'll help you start off your YouTube channel. Next, we've got smart contract developers. And you're probably thinking, Shane, what the heck is a smart contract? Is it like an extra intelligent piece of paper? Well, think digital vending machines on steroids. You input code and it executes automatically on the blockchain. And as a smart contract developer, you're a wizard of the digital age. You're basically building the backbone of decentralized apps and entire financial systems. And the best part, you do it all from your favorite coffee shop or in your bed. Now, a smart contract developer's workday involves creating and testing financial formulas. Also, troubleshooting code, attending meetings, and dealing with various technical challenges. Now, smart contract developers make about sixty-two dollars to $105,000 a year. And when it comes to your day-to-day -day tasks, you're going to be writing and deploying smart contracts on blockchain platforms, you're going to be auditing contracts for security and efficiency, and you're going to be staying updated on the latest blockchain tech. And the pay, let's just say it can make your crypto wallet very happy. All right, party people, this next one is for you. 
a virtual event planner. In the age of Zoom fatigue, you're the hero that we need. You transform boring online meetings into engaging digital experiences. And your typical day might include conceptualizing and designing virtual event experiences, coordinating with speakers, sponsors, and tech teams, managing event platforms and tools, and troubleshooting technical issues in real time. Now, what you need here is excellent organizational and multitasking skills, the creativity to make online events engaging, technical savvy with various virtual event platforms, and strong problem-solving abilities. And the perks? You're at the forefront of future events and you never have to worry about finding a venue with enough parking. Now, by the way, drop a comment below and let me know, what's the craziest job that you've heard of? Is it crazier than being a blockchain smart contract wizard or a D&D dungeon master? I'd love to know, so comment down below and let me know. All right, bookworms and grammar Nazis, this one's for you, a journal article editor. Now you might be thinking, Shane, that sounds about as exciting as watching paint dry. Well, hold your red pens because this job is actually kind of cooler than you think. Why? Because you're the gatekeeper of knowledge. You ensure groundbreaking research is clear, accurate, and ready for the world. And imagine being the first to read about a potential cancer cure or climate change solution. And you do it all while wearing your favorite fuzzy slippers. And to get even more weird and niche, there's a lot of people who do this for non-native English speakers. So for instance, this person asked what unusual jobs some people have in the subreddit r slash digital nomad. And this person responded, that they edit scientific journal articles written by non-native English speakers. So these are niches within niches within niches within niches. And sometimes that's where you gotta go to make some good money. Now there's no salary on Glassdoor for this job, but according to anecdotes, a person used to earn about $500 per journal article that they edit. So that's pretty good money. So this one could just be a side hustle or a part-time gig type of thing. You may not be able to find full-time work from it, but you can still make really good money, especially if you're good at reading academic articles. And your day might include editing comments complex scientific articles, fact checking and verifying sources, and communicating with researchers to clarify points. Now there's no PhD required, but what you do need is a sharp eye for detail, excellent language skills, and the ability to simplify complex topics. And you're gonna be constantly learning about cutting edge research, and you're gonna be making a real difference in the scientific community, all while working from your favorite coffee shop or even while traveling the world. So if you know someone who's a grammar nerd or a science enthusiast, share this video with them because they might just find their dream job. All right, sun worshipers and eco warriors, listen up. The next job is a remote solar salesperson. Now you might be thinking, Shane, how do I sell solar panels from my living room? Well, welcome to the digital age of renewable energy sales. You're not just selling panels, you're selling a brighter, cleaner future. And you're doing it while reducing your own carbon footprint. No house to house driving needed. Now, solar salespeople earn about 70 to $126,000 a year. And your day might look like using satellite imagery to assess potential customers customer's roof space, conducting virtual consultations, creating customized solar solutions within specialized software, and guiding customers through the remote installation process. Now, what you need for this is a passion for renewable energy, strong communication skills, and the ability to explain complex concepts simply. Plus, you should have a knack for building virtual relationships. Now, the perks? Well, you're saving the planet helping families reduce energy bills, and the earning potential is sky high. Now, by the way, if you wanna get into sales, but solar sales isn't really your thing, an easier solution to kind of get your foot in the door is what's known as tech sales. And specifically, it's what's known as a business development representative. So you will be talking to people on the phone, but you're not responsible for closing the sale. You basically just pass them off to more experienced tech representatives. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel. For instance, Abdul lost his warehouse job and he found a tech sales course online and landed a $75,000 job within a year. No degree needed. So if you want to do the same, there is actually a free tech sales training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that is from that company that he was able to land the job with. All right, the next job is going to be a remote music blogger. And you're probably thinking, Shane, you mean to tell me that I can get paid to listen to music all day? Well, you bet your vinyl collection you can. As a music blogger, you're not just a listener, you're a tastemaker, a critic, a storyteller, and you're shaping the music landscape from your home studio, favorite cafe, or even a beach in Bali if you want. And music bloggers earn about $62,000 a year. Now your typical day might include discovering and reviewing new music across genres, interviewing up and coming artists, virtually of course, and writing engaging content about music history, trends, and news. Plus, you might be managing a little bit of social media to build your audience. Now, you can write on your own blog, of course, or you can be a guest writer on other people's blogs. And all you really need is a deep love and knowledge of music, strong writing skills, and an ear for what's next in the industry. Now, the perks? Well, free music, 
concert tickets, and the chance to influence the music scene. Plus, you might just become the next music influencer. Who knows? Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use your influence wisely, young Jedi. By the way, I did make a video on dirty side hustles that you can make a ton of money with, and a lot of people loved it, got hundreds of thousands of views, really good feedback on it. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.